study published this year, 2018, by the Brain and Mind Institute of Western University in Canada tracked a massive number of people, over 40,000, to track their sleep over a three-day period and then had them undergo a series of cognitive and neurological tests. This was all to determine their sleep patterns. What made this sleep study different than just about every other sleep study done is that the sleeping was done not in a sleep lab, but in real world conditions, in people's own bedrooms, in their own homes. So the results, presumably, are a lot more realistic. Another thing that's different, most sleep studies do not engage such a huge number of people. A total of about 44,000 people participated in this. So presumably that makes this very authoritative. So what's the bottom line? The bottom line is not a big surprise. You need seven to eight hours to be cognitively most alert and efficient, just like your doctor says. But there is something shocking that came out of this as well. The researchers said that those who exceeded the maximum eight hours of suggested sleep were equally as impaired as those who slept too little. It turns out that too much sleep is just as bad for you as too little sleep. So the study defines a very narrow window of seven to eight hours as being the optimal number of hours you need. Get less and you won't be as good. Get more and you won't be as good. So don't get less than seven hours, but don't get more than eight hours or your thinking ability will suffer. Why is getting too much sleep just as bad as getting too little sleep? The researchers don't have an answer, but future scientific studies should answer that question. The average U.S. adult gets about 6.8 hours of sleep a night, not quite the minimum, but a full 40% of us get no more than six hours. No wonder we are so damn grumpy. Which reminds me, I've been up way too long editing this video, so sweet dreams.